So the next roll we're gonna look at is the triangle roll. It's called the triangle roll because you make a triangle shape. So we're gonna kneel down here. So we have point one, point two, and the triangle is gonna be the top here, point three, and that's gonna be made by your shoulder. So what we're trying to do here is to understand the connection that you make with the floor. So you have a really good understanding of where your body is and where it is in relation to the ground. And this is important for coming off a tackle to understand where you are in relation to the ground and how to control your own body. So there's a couple of ways you can do it. So we're gonna show the whole movement and then we'll break it down to change it up. Sometimes it helps when you take the shoulder, you're aiming to put this shoulder onto the floor. So this hand is obviously all the way attached. So you can pass it through the gap here, which will help. So let's see you do a triangle roll. They get the shoulder down, oh, lovely. What's really great about what you've just done is you've managed to come up on the other leg. So what we'll do is we'll try again, base of the triangle, this is gonna be the top. So we're gonna try and get your shoulder down to here. Put your hand through the gap for me again. Lovely, coming up the opposite side, perfect. The flexibility you have is excellent, but if you didn't have the flexibility, you can move this foot out of the way a little bit. Just keep it bent here. And what this does, it gets you to the ground closer. You can also, Use your hands, move your foot away to get down to the floor. So we wanna use your hands just to put your uh, shoulder to the floor. Now push with your feet, lovely. That's really good, well done. So let's do it again. So if you haven't got the flexibility, try and move your foot, get your hands down to the floor, push it through, push over. Really good, that's really good, well done. Some of the things to look out for is when people have just learning how to do this move, what they manage to do is instead of their shoulder, they kind of roll over their side. So this kind of movement. And you see, this hasn't quite gone in the forward motion. So reiterate the flexibility, moving the foot out the way, using their hands to get close to the floor. So put your hands down there for me. Now try and put your shoulder on the floor and then the momentum will push them over. That's really good. Every time someone's having trouble and rolling off onto the side, they just need a little bit more momentum and the key points of where they're rolling us. This is the shoulder that's gonna go down. Do one more for me. We can use our hands to get much closer to the floor to help put our shoulder down. You can look this way with your head and then push over. And no point is the head making any contact with the floor. This is exceptional, well done. So we're gonna look at the triangle shape again, but this time we're gonna look at it in a backwards motion because we don't always go forwards. Backwards is a really important thing for us to understand our own body. So we're gonna go into the triangle shape again. So kneeling down. So again, we've got point one, point two here. And uh, what we're doing actually is making the third point over here. So what we're gonna do is tuck our foot underneath. That's really important because otherwise it will get in the way. And then you're gonna sit down on your bottom. Same foot, same shoulder, make the roll. Lovely. No point did we roll over our neck there, we're just rolling over our shoulders. That was really good. The key points here is your boot and your foot is behind your body. So if you roll now, that would be in the way. So we have to twist it and tuck it underneath our bottom. So we're gonna tuck it out of the way. The key thing we haven't done yet is we should always look behind us if we're gonna make a roll, so make sure no one is there. So we're gonna sit on our bottom, same foot, same shoulder, makes the roll. Perfect, good job. So this side was a bit tricky, so we're just gonna slow it down and just try and think about it. So we're gonna tuck and just sit. Good, now this foot and this shoulder is the one we're gonna roll over. It doesn't matter about anything else, we just want that foot to go over that shoulder. So on you go. Really good. So as you come around and go back down, you bring this foot back up, now you're up to the opposite side. That was perfect, well done. Let's try again. We're gonna tuck the foot underneath, Sit on our bottom, same foot, same shoulder. Nice, keeping the head out of the way, perfect. Let's go back to the front again. Really good work. So this time before you can roll, if you can have a little check behind you to make sure no one's there, let's do two more. So good position, tucking the foot, point number one there, sitting on your bottom, the same foot, rolls over the same shoulder. So on you go there, lovely. Coming up the opposite way around, that's really good. So we can then think of like, we've got the two points there. This is gonna be my third, so we're gonna tuck the foot, sit on the floor, check, good work. Rolling over my shoulder, really perfect, well done.